This video is brought to you by the Deck of Many and their Big Bad Booklet series. Hello and welcome back to the Gallant Goblin. Today we have one of the first wave of expansion packs for the WizKids Warlock Tiles. And even if you're not investing into the Warlock Tile system, this pack should interest anyone who could use some scatter terrain for their dungeon maps however they present them. You do not need to have any of the other Warlock Tiles to use these. Like all the Wave 1 expansion sets, this one has an MSRP of $49.99, but can also be found a bit cheaper if you shop around. It's scheduled to hit store shelves in July 2020. Many thanks to WizKids for sending us this preview set, so let's open it up and take a look. Inside the box we have four chairs, two round tables, three crates, two stools, one keg, one long table, two benches for the table, an altar, a pile of rubble, a bed, a treasure pile, and a cheval de frise, which is a medieval defensive anti-cavalry contraption. Also included in the set is this statue, which you can use to menace your players into making them think it's going to come alive the moment they do something. Or you can use it to hint to your players that maybe there's a Medusa or a Basilisk that might be just around the corner. There's also this giant boulder, which you can use to block a cave entrance or cover up a trap door in the floor. You can't access the hollow interior of it, so don't think about hiding a cobalt tribe up in there, but it's certainly a useful mini to have around. There are also two treasure chests, which are functional and contain removable treasure piles. You could also use these little treasure piles to represent false bottoms to the chest if you want to be extra sneaky with your loot. There are four barrels, which have removable content tops that you can swap around. The little barrel toppers fit pretty snug inside the barrel, so you may need to bust out a needle or a small paperclip to get them out. There are four of each lid, so 12 total. In case you're wondering, the barrels in the Goblin Village also have a removable lid, but they aren't compatible with these. So if you want more pickle barrels, you're just going to have to pick up more Goblin Villages instead. There are two of these pit traps, which are one inch squares. While similar, they are different from the pit or spike traps included in the Tomb of Annihilation premium set, Tombs and Traps, which you can see added to the group here. And finally, we have a throne. Now, we don't have too many seated minis at the moment, but let's see who makes the best monarch. First, we have the Emperor from the Court of the Crimson Throne premium set, which we reviewed recently. You can see that video by clicking the eye in the corner of your screen. Next is Queen Iliosa from the same set. They both fit fine on the throne. And finally, we have the Goblin Chief from the aforementioned Goblin Village Pathfinder Battle set. The throne's a little big for him, but, you know, being a goblin, and he seems pretty happy up there to me, though. And as I mentioned earlier, you should be able to get a lot of use out of this general purpose scatter terrain set. There's nothing specifically tying it to the Warlock tile system, so feel free to pick this up to use on whichever map you like. Though, of course, they fit right into the Warlock tiles aesthetic. Anytime I make a dungeon or town scene, I always throw in a bunch of barrels and crates to make it feel a little bit more lived in. And tables and chairs and benches and stools can also be used extensively in any build where people actually live. So a tavern or a mess hall or even just an orc cave. I mean, orcs gotta eat too. Good thrones and beds are actually hard to come by, so I'm certainly glad to add those to my collection too. You know what mind seeing a set of seated minis for like a tavern expansion? But let me know what you think of this set in the comments section down below. If you'd like to see our reviews of the Warlock Tile sets, all of them, you can check the eye in the corner of your screen. And we want to thank the, fine, the kind folks at WizKids for sending us this preview set to share with you. We also want to thank our sponsor for this video, the Deck of Many. Through their Patreon, you can subscribe to receive a monthly set of new reference cards for 5th edition, as well as their new digital and printed zine for boss monsters that you're able to slot right into your ongoing campaigns. These colorful booklets contain all you need to run a full session or two, depending on on how long you want to run it for uh, this particular big bad of the month, including we have stat blocks and story hooks and backstories and role playing tips. And these are great for adding some variety to your games or running maybe some one shots for your friends and family, or maybe just fully incorporating them into your games to give your players a long term antagonist. This month, come meet Tendon and Bone, a strange mutated drow and their blind basilisk companion who stalk their prey in crystal caverns deep below the earth. Will you be the hunter or the hunted? Learn more at bigbadbooklet.com. 
And a quick reminder that we still have our Pride fundraiser going on to support GLSEN, an organization that helps support LGBTQ plus children in schools and protect them from bullying. All the profits from the sales of our Dragon Pride Adventurers designs go to, during Pride Month, will go to help those kiddos. And you can get the design on shirts, on hoodies, on water bottles, on laptop skins, notebooks, tote bags, or coffee mugs like this one. All sorts of stuff. You can find the whole collection over at gallantgoblin.redbubble.com. Thanks for watching today. Don't forget to leave me a comment letting me know what you think of this set. While you're down there, you can also click the little thumbs up button if you enjoyed the video. And be sure to subscribe to see all our news and reviews for tabletop RPGs. I hope you're doing well out there, and I'll see you next time at the Gallant Goblin. Mm -hmm.